Hi, you might be wondering about what it would be like to work with me and how I'm different than the next speaker or the next professional speaker coach. And uh, that's why I'm putting a few videos together so you can learn a bit more about me and the way that I work. Now, this one is about my story. And uh, initially, I started out in the world of the sciences. I studied the sciences at university and uh, got a degree from Cambridge in natural sciences. And then after that, I became a teacher. And then later on, I decided I wanted to study a bit more. So I went and studied in the States. I studied neuropharmacology, which is the study of the chemicals in the brain. Anyway, after all of this studying, I thought it was time to uh, get a job. And I ended up working as a, an IT consultant, management consultant. Didn't enjoy the job particularly. And in part, that was because I felt that I didn't know enough about the, the, the role and my clients. And so where that took me was in meetings, I would typically not say very much. I didn't feel I had much to contribute. And that was the beginnings of my not wanting to really share very much at work, in the workplace. And it got to the extent with that particular job where uh, they actually put me on probation for a few months because they thought that perhaps I wasn't up to the job. So for me, it was really more of a communication problem. But for them, they uh, didn't recognize that. And I think they thought I was either being lazy or that I just didn't have the, uh, you know, the, what it took to do well in the job. Anyway, luckily for me, a colleague took pity and helped me out and uh, spent some time with me. And eventually I ended up turning that around, stayed at that company for a, a few more years. When I got back to the UK, I then uh, got a job as an account director. And the same sort of thing happened again. Wasn't very confident with my speaking. This time I was supposed to be running these meetings with clients and uh, I was struggling. And after six months in the role, I got called into my boss's office and told that they were letting me go because I wasn't adding enough value in meetings. And so for someone who was always very conscientious, that was a real tough time for me because I, I thought that I had no more, uh, you know, no, no, nothing further to add to the workplace. I just thought, well, I'm washed up. What am I going to do here? I had to leave where I was living and move in with my little sister who kindly took me in for a while. And that was where my interest in personal development and um, learning about human psychology, that's where that interest started to blossom from because I was interested in, in figuring out myself. So I trained to be a life coach. And uh, then I thought, well, if I'm taking this time away from the corporate world, then I might as well do the thing that I wanted to do as a kid, which was become a singer. So I started taking singing lessons and absolutely adored it and then went on to become a professional singer. Anyway, I was doing my singing, writing songs, performing, etc, etc. And I then redeveloped an interest in, uh, in speaking and, and uh, well, thinking, how can I improve my speaking? I just something was pulling me towards taking some speaker training. So I ended up joining Toastmasters and uh, loved it, loved the speaking, loved the, the challenge of putting a speech together and getting in front of an audience. And I'd got built up some confidence, I guess, from singing in front of audience in front of audiences regularly as a professional singer. So a lot of the fears that I'd had around speaking disappeared and I really enjoyed it. And I carried on with Toastmasters, but then also found my own coaches. I was working with a coach from Canada, someone else who's here in London, uh, coaches in the States, various coaches in the States from different places because I really wanted to accelerate my learning and, and learn a lot more about public speaking. So that desire blossomed into wanting to be a professional speaker. And I also took an exam, which was uh, in performance speaking. And uh, amazingly to me, I ended up getting the top mark in the whole country and in, in all, all the exam centers globally in that particular exam which made me realize that what tends, what can happen in the past doesn't have to affect the future. So a lot of people who go, who, who have issues around public speaking, something happened to them as a child. Maybe they were forced to speak and people laughed at them because it didn't go right or things happened. And then they felt that they couldn't do it. They, they, they're just not equipped to do public speaking. And this situation with me, where I'd sort of gone from being a very weak speaker to actually acing an exam that was a, a global exam for the public made me realize that 
there, there are a lot of people out there who are frustrated and thinking they can't do it. And that part of my role and my mission, it was to help people like that who perhaps hadn't had the benefit of, you know, debate club at school or, uh, you know, speaking regularly to groups and, and didn't have that confidence. So that's where a lot of my desire to help people as a coach came from. Uh, I think that's probably enough. This is about five and a half minutes. So I'm going to stop now and um, I'll make another video about the let's see the next one will be about my uh, what else makes me different as a coach and it's interactivity so i'm going to go on to that right now thank you for listening and if you are interested in working with me please do drop me a message in my uh, contact box and the contact form in the contact page and we can set up a time to have a quick chat and see how i can help you take care bye